In this video, I am going to talk about the moving average model or in short known as the MA model, which where MA stands for moving average. So this is a very simple time series model, whereas we the, uh, the, the time series that we are considering is YT. So YT is represented as a linear combination of different white noise processes. So we have talked about white noise processes in the previous video. So what is a white noise? Um, so normally uh, a white noise has a mean of uh, uh, 1 and standard deviation of sorry mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1 and there are also one or two more uh, properties but it has mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1. So these are the basic uh, properties of a white noise process. So YT sorry UT is a white noise process. Hence UT minus 1 is also a white noise process because this is a lag of UT. And then UT minus 2 is also a white noise process. So YT is represented as a linear combination of white noise processes. So that's the representation of um, a moving average model. Uh, so time series YT is a linear combination of different uh, residual terms uh, or different white noise processes. We have also the intercept mu. In many, uh, you know, uh, many books you will find the mu is not being used. So it doesn't make much of a difference. You can also take out the mu and many people do that and that won't change the representation of MA series much. Um, so theta 1, theta 2 uh, up to theta q are the parameters. You can estimate uh, the equation and get the values of these parameters by using uh, a maximum likelihood estimator. So you can represent the MA series uh, like this. Yt is, Yt is sum of uh, the intercept mu plus summation of i equal to 1 to q theta i ut uh, t minus i plus an error term. Okay. So this is just a short representation of what we have seen above. Now we introduce what is known as a lag operator. Okay. So you might have heard about the lag operator in different other mathematical forms. Slag operator is nothing but the same data, uh, data for this the previous period. So let's say ut minus 2 is uh, nothing but the lag of ut minus 1. Similarly, ut minus 1 is the lag of ut, ut right? So uh, L here is the lag operator, okay? So ut minus 2, if we, if we replace, if we put this term, you, in the in the place of ut minus 1 so you will have l multiplied to l of ut hence ut minus 2 is l square ut okay so second order lag multiplied to ut right so if i can do that for you l of ut minus 1 and in the place of ut minus 1 i'll put that l of ut so this is nothing but l of ut which is nothing but L square ut. Similarly, ut minus 3 is nothing but L cube ut. Okay. And ut minus s is nothing but L to the power s multiplied to ut. Why is so important to use the lag operator? This makes the representation of MA series uh, better. And uh, you can understand uh, the estimation process of uh, MA series model better by using a uh, lag operator. So we'll use this lag operator in the equation, in the moving average uh, equation. So using the lag operator, we can find this equation like this. So yt is nothing but the intercept term mu plus summation of i equal to 1 to q theta i, so it remains same. Then the lag operator L to the power i ut and this lag operator will change with each term, right? So for example, i equal to 1, so this is the first lag, first lag of ut, that means ut minus 1. And then when i is equal to 2, then this is, this becomes L square ut, which is nothing but 
ut minus 2. Similarly, when i equal to 3, it is L cube ut. So, which is nothing but ut minus 3. All right. So, that's just a representation. Okay. We also represent yt like this. yt is mu plus theta L ut. So, this entire expression, so this entire expression, the summation term can be represented as a function of theta L. So, theta is a function of lag operators, where theta L is represented as 1 plus theta 1 L plus theta 2 L square up to theta Q L to the power Q. Okay. So, uh, all these representations are same. It's just that there is a different way of representing it. Okay. So, initially we started with only the linear combination of different white noise processes. Then we changed uh, it to a summation and then we introduced the lag and then uh, lag operator L and then we introduced a function theta which is a which is a function of lag operator and then we represent it like this. By having different forms of representing the same model with different forms makes it flexible so wherever it is needed you can use the same form without worrying about uh, the fact that it is it is different from its original form. They are essentially the same it's just the way of representing. There are a few properties of the MA series. Uh, the expectation of yt is constant okay you can easily prove that also okay and uh, it's, it's it's very easy if you take an expectation in the left hand side and if you take an expectation in the right hand side you will see that expectation of ut is zero so this term will cancel out and you will only be remain with the constant term okay so a ma series has a constant mean okay the variance of an MA series also is also constant and the variance of yt is also given by is given by this 1 plus theta 1 square plus theta 2 square up to theta q square multiplied to uh, sigma square. Okay, so that's also constant. So constant mean, constant variance, and the autocovariance is known non-zero till p lags. Okay, so if we are dealing with MA1, that means only one lag is there, then it will be non-zero, the autocovariancy is going to be non-zero till the first lag and thereafter it is going to be zero. Okay, so next lag, second lag, third lag, fourth lag and so on are going to be zero. So if you are dealing with MA2 process, so the first two lags, first lag, second lag are going to be non-zero autocovariance and then the rest are going to be of zero autocovariance. So let's take an example. So this is a typical MA2 process. Yt is represented as ut plus theta 1 ut minus 1 plus theta 2 ut minus 2. Now you might wonder what is the constant term. Okay, so constant term you can, you know, this is uh, intercept less uh, representation of the model who doesn't make much of a difference to the model representation. Okay. Alright, so this is a uh, MA2 process. Okay. So this is uh, one lag and this is the second lag. Okay. So when we uh, represent this MA2 process on graph, so, uh, you know, to be able to find out whether a particular time series follows uh, what kind of, uh, 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 you know, um, MA process, we should plot the SCF. So, SCF is nothing but the auto uh, correlation function, right? SCF. So, when we represent, uh, when we plot the SCF, uh, of course, I have talked about the ACF function or the autocorrelation function in one of the video in this playlist. You can check it out. So, if you play, if you plot the ACF function with respect to the lags, the first uh, autocorrelation uh, value with its own, uh, like the autocorrelation of ut with respect to, sorry, yt with respect to yt is always going to be one, right? Because it's with the same thing. So, first is going to be 1 all the time, 
and then if you go to the first lag so this is zero the lag i would say and then the then the first lag it's non zero second is also non zero so this is second this is first and then after that it's all zeros right so this is a typical ma2 process that means the first two lags has autocorrelation value non zeros and hence after it's all zeros right if it is MA3 process, then the first three lags will have autocorrelation function value non zero and the rest are going to be of zero. So, this is how MA process is uh, represented mathematically, and this is how a MA process is detected or is found out from the, uh, from the plot of uh, or by plotting the SEF function. Now the question is how do you estimate it? How do you estimate an MA series? How do you get theta 1? How do you get theta 2? Okay. So you can estimate that using uh, a number of estimation procedure. One of them is the uh, maximum likelihood estimation. Right. In many of these statistical softwares, you can use standard uh, libraries to find out the uh, the um, the parameters right so if you follow uh, with uh, the video section I'll discuss more about how to you know build a um, MA model by using a statistical software like uh, R SAS or any of the software and you can uh, use your own software that that uh, you are comfortable with so for more videos you can uh, subscribe to our channel you can also uh, go to our website which is in the description section of this video um and uh, do subscribe to us thanks